ask my attendance uh, to last year's uh, Specialty Coffee Association of America conference in Minneapolis that helped me validate the creation of Capicultura Puerto Riqueña as a non-profit organization to provide the residents of the Puerto Rico Coffee Zone opportunities to improve their standard of living through the transformation of the historic coffee haciendas into socioeconomic access of sustainable development for tourism, agriculture, preservation, and specialty coffee exports. The Caribbean island of Puerto Rico was discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1493 for the Spanish crown, and in 1898, as a result of the Spanish-American War, it became part of the United States. By the 19th century, mild-washed uh, Puerto Rican coffee obtained one of the highest quotations in the world market. By the 1890s, Puerto Rico was the fourth largest coffee exporter in the Americas. By 1877, there were 843 registered coffee haciendas, but unofficial numbers put them in the thousands. Maricao Municipality contained the highest number, with 234. The haciendas not only planted and processed coffee, but provided housing and stores, grew food crops, provided credit, produced charcoal and organic fertilizer, and kept horses and mules. The haciendas were self-sufficient in most ways, a good example from the past for sustainability today. Some even minted their own tokens. By 1899, 69 municipalities cultivated coffee. Today, the coffee zone is comprised of 22 municipalities, with only 55,000 acres dedicated to coffee cultivation. Coffee exports peaked in 1898 with over 600,000 quintals. More than a century later, Puerto Rico produced 203,500 quintals. The specialty coffee exports amounted to 12,585 quintals for 2005. The contribution of women and small and medium coffee farmers to the industry has been overshadowed. In a recent survey of coffee farm owners, they expressed great satisfaction with the work of women because, and I quote, they are very responsible, absenteeism is very low, and they concentrate on their work, achieving excellent efficiency. In 2002, small and medium coffee farmers' production accounted for 77.2% of all coffee production in the island. It is believed that the coffee activity sustains both directly and indirectly over 200,000 households in the mountainous areas of Puerto Rico. As a Caribbean island, Puerto Rico is part of the 25 biodiversity hotspots in the world. Six national forest reserves are located in the coffee zone. The objectives of uh, Caficultura Puerto Riqueña are to improve the standard of living in the coffee zone, to promote specialty coffee exports, to promote sustainable tourism and agriculture, and to preserve the historic and natural heritage.